sunglasses are cool, but for out on the open road, you need something a little different than these. So let's have a look at exactly what's on offer. Wearing sunglasses out on the bike isn't just about looking cool. They're an essential piece of kit. As you can see now, I'm riding around 20 miles an hour and already I'm having to blink and squint. The sun's very, very bright. The wind's getting in my eyes and I can already feel bits of dust getting in my eyes too. These are essential protection for one of the most valuable bits of your body, your eyes, and you can't overestimate that at all. Now there's a dazzling array of sunglasses available on the market, all with different features and all at varying price points to suit every pocket. This particular brand, three lenses. So you have a lens for dark conditions, you can wear those in the evening, for low light conditions, and of course for sunny conditions. Rudy Projects with a photochromatic lens. And basically that means they will change to the varying light conditions. So you can wear these in low light and also in dazzling sunlight too. They'll adapt to the conditions. Moving on to the Oakleys, and a feature you really do need to look for in all your glasses, these stick to your head really, really well. So when you go over potholes, they don't fall off. The last thing you want to do is lose an expensive pair of sunglasses when you're going down a, down a descent or over some bumpy ground. And lastly, we have this pair here. 99 pence from a garage forecourt. They'll protect your eyes, but perhaps they won't offer the same optical clarity at the higher price points. And they don't look too bad either. One of the other good things about wearing those sunglasses with a dark lens in bright sunshine is that it actually relaxes your neck because you're not squinting, giving you better posture on the bike, as well, of course, as protecting you from grit, from insects, and from stuff on the road that's flicked up from the rider in front of you. Absolutely vital.